guys so today I am gonna do a bright-eyed and bushy-tailed look and this is kind of like my jam I used to do this a lot my sophomore year of high school except minus the big old lashes the freckles and the contour and everything else but I used to be really into like anime eyes so I used to do the white liner all the time like the thick white liner like it is today but today I decided to make it more glam and cute and doll-like but wearable well, I mean, not everyone's gonna wear, like, stacked lashes, but, you know, I like to be extra, so let's just, uh, get on into the video if you want to be extra like me and wear a lot of fake eyelashes. Okay, bye. Alright, guys, so today I'm gonna be going in with the J-Cat Beauty Flying Solo Eyeshadow Pan in Half Naked, just to kind of give it, like, a peachy, warm glow, because it's not a matte, but it's not, like, a metallic. So it kind of adds a little bit of dimension. And then we're going to go in with this LA Colors Eye Pencil in white, of course, to put on our lower lash line because we are going to be wearing some pretty thick lashes, I guess, if you have them. And we don't want them to look make our eyes look smaller because they are very, very black and black tends to make things look smaller. So the white will just open things up and make it more bright and bushy tail, I guess. <laughs> So now I'm going in with the Maybelline Expert Wear, just regular black stick eyeliner and just putting that on the upper waterline because when we put the lashes on there and stuff, we want them to look seamlessly blended and I find that this helps with my lashes because mine are like blonde as you can tell so I kind of need it so you can't see the lash band otherwise the eyelashes look so bad on me but oh well. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh my gosh. So now I'm going to do the winged eyeliner. It's the Skinny by Ico, and I love it. But here in a second, I'm like about to go out of focus. Be or not out of focus. Well, I'm technically already out of focus. But like out of the camera shot because your girl gets really intense when she's doing her winged eyeliner. And yeah, here I go. Oh, Alex, you're, about to you're pretty much out of the shot, girl. Good job. Proud of you. Keep doing that wing that you're failing at and had to pause the camera and do it off camera because you suck at eyeliner. <laughs> Anyways, now I'm just going to use the great lash on my eyelashes and put on some fake eyelashes off camera because your girl cannot do that on camera. <laughs> now for the freckles. I'm using a, just a Urban Decay Brown Eyeshadow in Secret Service and a stippling brush. And I'm kind of wetting my stippling brush quite a bit and I'm just dunking it in the eyeshadow pan and just messily applying freckles like all over my face. Now these are really harsh and I do wish I would have done this a different way, like possibly with like a darker foundation, I think, or like a really creamy concealer. I feel like that would have worked too or heck, my Anastasia dip brow probably would have done even better, but I wasn't thinking. So any of those things, if you have them, would probably do better than the eyeshadow thing because it's really, really hard to blend out as you can see me trying to do in a second. It's just... It, it, it was just like, nope, you're just gonna look like you slung mud on your face, so, you know, it's fine. <laughs> I would much rather have used the Anastasia dip brow, so just for future reference, if you decide to do freckles with a stippling brush, dip brow all the way, or just any cream brow product, I guess. So as you can see, they turned out pretty good. They look pretty natural, like, I just wish they would have looked more dull. Guys, so you're about to see, like, this video is... This part of the video is like really out of focus and I didn't realize until after I'd already filmed it but I wanted to leave this in here for you guys so I'm sorry it's out of focus it will get there at some point near like the end of, of the review so I'm sorry in advance don't hate me it's like six o'clock at night and or six o'clock in the morning so uh, <laughs> anyways I'm sorry <laughs> all right so what up guys um I decided to like do a little quick like talk over thing not talk over, just actually like talking to the camera, not a voiceover, because I'm about to try out a new uh, liquid lipstick I got from the dollar store, or Family Dollar, I got this from Family Dollar, and I thought it was kind of cool. It's the LA Colors Pout Lip Gloss Matte, so if I can get this to focus for you guys, you know, it's probably not going to focus, but you know, that's okay. It straight up doesn't tell me on the thing but we're just gonna it's this one <laughs> it's like a peachy pink so we're just gonna try this out and see if this is actually a really good lip, liquid lipstick from the dollar store all right 
right, so the applicator is like this really odd, I don't know if it's going to focus, but it's like a really odd type doe foot. It's really long. Yeah, okay. So I love the color. Like, the color's nice. Like, eh. It's, oops. It's not, it's kind of oxidizing not this color. It's a little bit more pink than what you see on the like outside of the, I'm looking at the sorry I wasn't looking at the camera but it's a little bit more pink than the outside of the tube the outside of the tube is more like peachy this is a little bit more pink I think I don't think it's showing that well on camera but in person it's a lot more pink oh oh my lips are like sticking together like ew no I'm not cool. I'm not cool with that. I don't like. I'm looking in the mirror right now. It's like it's like peeling it off too. Like right out here. I don't think you can see that because it's not focusing. Focus. It's like come on. Ah. It's peeling off like right there. You can see it right there. I wonder if. Hold on, I'm gonna reapply it and put powder over it and see if it makes it less like, ugh. Okay, so I put a powder over it. It's like better, but like in the corners right here or your mouth where like, it typically is like more like wet and stuff because it touches your like, your actual mouth more. It like washes off the powder, so like it's still sticky right there. I don't know, I mean, for the price, it's good it dries fast it's very pigmented it's not streaky but if you can live with the peeling of your lips apart all day I'd say go for it it's only like a dollar or so they actually make stick matte lipsticks like just regular lipsticks but they're matte those are white better but yeah I think I I would not not repurchase these in my opinion but yeah <laughs> If you want me to do like the whole line, because like they have like a whole like color section, I can totally do it and see if it's just that color. Just let me know, because they're super cheap. I can totally buy them all. So yeah, let me down below if you want to see me, you know, do that. Alright, back on into the video. So I hope you liked that video. <laughs> I don't know why I was like all fun. I don't know why. Anyways, I hope you guys liked that video. I like this video, it's kind of like short notice. I want it to be really easy. I decided not to do like my face in this video because I do it all the time and I was like, I'm not going to do it. So that and I'm trying out a bunch of like a face combination and I don't know if I like it yet. So if you guys like want to see how I did, like what my face makeup is, I will gladly show you, but it's not perfected yet. It's kind of like I'm looking right now, it's a little bit cakey, but not bad. It's just I, I don't like wearing foundation, like at all. I think it makes my problem areas look worse, so it's like, what's the point? So most times I just wear concealer and I wear bank and contour, but that's about it. I basically do what Jay Kissa does. But anyways guys, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up on this video. You can subscribe right down here. And if you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can do it right over there. It's looking real good. Like, real good. You should go follow all of this. So anyways guys, that's all I have for today. And I will see you next time. Bye!